We're gonna quickly talk about what Soul Sniper is and how it can benefit you. We're gonna be diving into the new features, getting our wallets all set up and doing some live snipes. We need to first understand what Soul Sniper is and its main purpose. Well, for one, it's a bot, and two, it auto trades for you. Take a look at this. To the average person or the average day trader, this could look very overwhelming. There's a lot going on, but I mean, this is how you traditionally trade. You check out something that has been trending for a while, and the idea would be to buy somewhere down here and to sell all the way up here and potentially make a profit, right? But I mean, you get the idea, right? But here's the thing. What about the timing? How long does this actually take to play out? And what are you going to be doing while all of this is happening? This could take hours. This is where Soul Sniper comes in. The one thing that it's gonna be ridiculously good at is saving you time. Okay, so let's now dive into the good stuff. If you've used Soul Sniper before, you might notice that there's a couple of things missing here. The priority fee and slippage is no longer here. It's built in, it's under the hood, and we no longer have to worry about it. So in this field right here is where you're gonna set your buy amount. Mine is currently set to 0.02. And of course, you know, we need to take profit. So right here where it says sell, take profit, I have mine set to 10%. And of course we need a stop loss. Mine is currently set to also 10%. I like to keep my timeout at 1000 seconds. So basically, if the trade is just going on and it's going on forever and it seems like it's never gonna stop, the bot will automatically take you out of the trade based on the amount of time that has elapsed. So let's swing up here to where it says safety because we need that. So I have my top 10 holders max set to 100 and I also have my bundled max set to 100. Quick tip, the higher these numbers are, the more trades the bot will pick up for you. The lower these numbers are, the less trades you're gonna pick up. I have my max same block buy set to 100 and my safety check period set to about 10 seconds. So now, as far as the DEXs go, I have all the DEXs selected. So here are the ones they have to choose from. And I just come up here and I click this checkbox because I want to be in as many trades as possible. Right here, you could set the mint authority and the freeze authority. And you can even check this one right here, which is the immutable metadata. If you want more trades, then you take all of these off. And of course, if you want less trades, you will add more security. So this is my setup right here. Let's go back, check out my buys, my buys and sell settings, and these are my safety settings. This is how I get in and out of trades very quickly. Remember, you guys can customize this to however you want. Let's go ahead and run the bot. All right, so right now we can see that the bot started successfully and it's starting to listen for new tokens and it looks like it's doing some stuff. I think it's going through these safety checks right now, which doesn't take too long. It's usually a few seconds for me, but it could also be a few minutes. So let's hang out, hang tight and see what it does. So it looks like we passed so far uh, some safety checks. So it's still doing its thing and we may get in a trade or we might not. If we don't get in a trade, it might just be that we could not get past the safety settings, but look, we are in. So right here, you can see our buy order was successful. We're up around 2% right now. And yeah, things are moving. So I'm just gonna pull back and let the bot do its thing. By the way, there's a sell button right here, just in case you guys just, if things are going crazy and you can't wait to take your profit, you could always just hit the sell button and get out of that trade and immediately. So another tip for you guys right there. So let's just digress and check it out for a bit. So it's going up, up, it's pulling back, it's pulling back. We're, we're only up 4% uh, right there, but we're breaking a little bit above six. We're back down to three. It might just be a pullback, who knows, right? So even if we lose this one, we're gonna get right back in because this is soul sniping, right? So the idea is to get in and get out quick. We don't wanna be in these trades forever. And you know, if we take a loss, we definitely just don't wanna just leave it alone and never trade again, right? We just wanna, we wanna keep doing this, right? So it looks like it's about to take me out of the trade and it did, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the bot right there. So you guys could see that the bot was stopped and we had a sell transaction confirmed. So positive 10% right there, locking it up. And you can also come in here and view this swap one deck screener. Let's just go ahead and check it out. So it's pulling it up right now. All right, so this is what it looks like. You can see my buy and my cell is right there. So thank you guys so much for sticking until the end of this video. Happy sniping.